Hi, my name is Roseanne and welcome to day 8 of our 10 day yin yoga practice together. Today I'm going to offer you three poses which is about letting go of your day. So depending on whether you've chosen to practice this in the morning or the evening, take the time to let go of your day. So perhaps if it's in the morning you might let go of yesterday. So choosing which affirmation is resonant to you, or aligns with you, and we'll get started in a wide like a child's pose. As always, have your props and cushions and whatever you need to support you in your practice nearby. I won't be using any today. So as we start, we're coming into that wide like a child's pose. That might be big, t um, big toes together, knees draw out wide. You might choose to extend your arms forward, bend the arms, or likewise, if you've got a bolster and you want to use it, you might pop that underneath you for support. Feel free to place the head to one side or the forehead down. You sink the hips back wherever that feels safe for you. Feel free to close down your eyes. Taking in your deep breath. I choose to let go of my day or yesterday, depending on when you're practicing. I choose to let go of my day. And with each breath out, the invitation to really soften the shoulders, really let go of any tension that you might be holding in your body. And taking your time, your three final breaths here. Taking your time, just gently lifting the head up, we will place the hands beside the knees as we roll up slowly, rounding your back, head comes up last. Feel free to stay there, a moment in stillness and kneeling, or maybe you'd like to shrug the shoulders, maybe rock the head side to side. Just notice what feels alive in your body and what kind of rebound you want to take there, movement or stillness. On a way your body is today. It's different every time that we come to practice. And then taking your time, we'll start to invite ourselves into our next pose, coming into melting heart pose, where our knees are about hip width. Feel free to take the arms to walk forward wherever that feels safe for you. So that might be hips aligned with the knees, that might be sitting the hips slightly shifted back. Placing your forehead to the ground or a cushion. Breathing here. As you find your edge, the space where we feel safe, safe to Hold, safe to let go, safe to sink in. And as you find your edge, that form, that scale of one to ten, the invitation to surrender to that stillness, the resolve to be still, to breathe. Each breath out, the invitation to surrender that little bit more. Taking your time, your three final breaths in. And 
Gently as we start to come out of the pose, pressing through the arms. Again, it's highly up to you. You might choose to be still or move. If you like movement, you might take a few rounds of cat-cow or side to side. Perhaps if you want to be still, you might choose to come to lie down onto your back, onto your mat, which is where we'll meet. However you rebound, taking the time to really honour in what your body needs there. How can you best be present, best attend to what you need? Stillness, movement. Notice what is present or alive for you right now. Your experience. When you're ready, we'll start to make our way onto the ground if you haven't already made your way there. And guiding ourselves into a reclined butterfly. Again, you don't have to use props. I'm not going to use any. I'm going to bring the soles of the feet together. Knees drop to the side. For those that would like to use props, you can use a cushion underneath your thighs. If you've got a bolster, you can always thread it in between your legs to help support your knees really just taking the time to again discover where your edge is now resolve to be still honoring where your edge is As we resolve to hold here, as we resolve to be still. Each breath out, the invitation to really let go of legs, shoulders. In your own time, take your time, your three, final breath in. Very gently, take your time, guiding the arms in, guiding the legs in. You might take a moment to come into constructive rest, feet out, mat width, knees together, hands can rest on your body. You might choose to take movements through the knees, side, centre to side. Again, just tuning into what you need here. And then that invitation to either come into Shavasana, all that constructive rest. I let go of my day. I choose to let go of my day. Or yesterday if you practice in this practice in the morning. Taking a breath in, an opportunity for new energy, newness, breathing out, letting go of your day, your yesterday, inhale, exhale, letting go of what doesn't serve you anymore. Feel free to take one more breath there. Take your time to gently wriggle fingers, wriggle toes. Perhaps take a stretch or hug of the knees and you might rock side to side or 
roll over to the side, just take a moment to calibrate that shift of weight in your own time, making your way up into a comfortable seat. Finding a comfortable seat, perhaps with the palms at the centre of the chest. The invitation to, again, calibrate from laying down to seated, finding your centre here. As we close our practice, arrive back into our day. Inhale, circle the arms and exhale, hands down through centre. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining practice today. We have two more practices left, so I'll see you for tomorrow's practice. Day nine, see you then. For those of you that have just tuned in, make sure to check out the other nine practices. You can find a link here or maybe here <laughs> um, to find our day zero, which explains what this challenge or what this 10 day practice is about or maybe you'd like to just have a look at scrolling through what the other days offer and if one resonates with you feel free to join and let me know how you get on look forward to seeing you in practice again bye